Hey, my name is Paul. I have been a lifelong Republican, and I just had a quick point to make, or question, to those that are Christian, that are supporting Donald Trump. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not boast. Love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily anchored. It keeps no record of wrongdoing. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. What are you standing for? Really? Sit down tonight with the Lord and ask him what you're really standing for. Do you just care about jobs? Do you care about morality? Do you care that he calls Stacey Abrams fat? Do you care that he accuses Joe Scarbo of murder with absolutely no basis? Are you okay with him accusing a 75-year-old man that had his hat, head cracked open on the concrete in the hospital saying it's fake news? Are you okay with Donald Trump criticizing Colonel Powell because he had a disagreement and doesn't agree with him? That he disrespects him as an American soldier? Are you okay with Donald Trump not being a doctor suggesting that we inject disinfectants, that we inject UV light into our body? Are you okay that the president is taking hydroxychloroquine, which is not approved by the by the CDC. Are you okay with this? Are you okay that he's constantly bullying people? In this scripture, what exactly traits does he show us? As a Christian, why are you following a man that is a false prophet? I really want to know. What is it about him that you think is godly? What traits has he shown? He is a cyber bully and he is a controller. When the Lord was on this earth, he didn't insult people. He didn't bully them. He didn't make fun of them. He didn't make false accusations of murder. He fought, he fled with love and with kindness. The exact opposite of what Donald Trump is doing right now. He is a false prophet. I would highly suggest that you pray tonight about this and really think about what you want in our country as a leader. Because this is not leading. This is a dictatorship. Ruling by fear is not the American way. Thank you.